interested in steel. I was interested in staying in the field I was in, and we all kind of came together. Keller wasn't real happy with what he was doing. He goes, I want to be able to design and build stuff. He goes, I'd rather uh, be doing something on my own. There was a gentleman named Jack Bowman. He goes, why don't these boys start something up? He knew the metals industry like the back of his hand. You ask him, uh, what's quarter-inch sheet of plate weigh? You know, it's 10.21 pounds per square foot. And, you know, he just rattled stuff off like that that was amazing. Heck, Jack was hired before we even had a building. Um, Jack helped us pour the foundation, pour the floor and everything to our original facility. we started was the single building it was a 200 by 72 and i said i'll build you the building but you're going to pay me margaret rent this is going to be a business relationship sam came out of college we pulled him out of college pretty much and he was on fire since then i wish you the best but if it don't work you know, that's all you guys as soon as the Amish started building it we started doing plans for equipment buys and hiring people even before the building started. I remember my first layout sitting at home. I was like, you know, putting all the machinery in and stuff. You never think about all the materials and all the people and all the walk areas. You don't know the sheer size of stuff until it's in your hand. So in 2014, we opened our doors with three employees and 15,000 square feet. Jack in the office. I was in the office and on the floor running equipment. And then we had two guys on the floor running equipment. Then Sam came back for summer vacation from college. I mean, it was probably the best first day of any place I've ever worked in my life. My first day, uh, I came in to run the laser and had never seen a laser before in my life. Sam was training me on the laser as he texts on his phone most of the time. I don't think a lot of people understood what we were like when we were in the early times of you know, one machine ran one day, we shut it down, and the next machine runs the next day. First 18 months in, we were outgrowing it. We added on another uh, 150 foot onto that. 18 months later, we added another to 100 by 150 onto that. So we had about 50,000 square feet. When we started here, and you, you walk right before our eyes, I mean, it just blew up. Two years ago, roughly, actually two and a half, Mark called us from... Davenport down the road said, I want to sell, I want to retire. Are you interested? And we knew we could grow here if we wanted to keep adding on. It's like, yeah, we need to have a space because if this thing keeps going, it's going to keep adding and building. The first day was like, oh, what's next? Uh, because not knowing anything about them, not sure, just kind of, kind of a little anxiety. My initial thought was this is going to be pretty exciting. It was a lot different. <laughs> I will say that. We uh, had to structure a little bit more. <laughs> it was intimidating at first, to say the least, really intimidating, but all the Davenport employees that were there really welcomed us with open arms. It's exciting to see uh, improvements to something that's been here for a long time and bring, bring, bring brought back to life, you might say. I never imagined the Wild West happening, but it did and it worked out. The 20 was just nuts because you didn't know what to expect. It was just the unknown. The work kind of kept flowing in. We had new people calling us that we could never get into their door. Said, hey, you know, can you do this work? We said yes. Opened up a door for us so we didn't have to really beat down anymore. Everybody wanted to show up. Everybody wanted to work. Nobody wanted to, you know, sit at home. And uh, they just wanted life to continue as normal. I love coming to work here every day. There's not been one day in 10 years that I've not ever wanted to come to work. I had two jobs before M3 and... I never looked back when I left those jobs, but yeah, this one has been special. We knew there were good people here. Everything that we touch, you know, has M3's name on it, and we take pride in making sure it's the best that it can be. It's 2024 now, and we've got 100,000 square feet and 65 to 67 employees. The people that are here are dedicated, they care. It's just amazing to me that you've been able to assemble the team that you put together this quickly. They're a really good company to work for. They treat us really good. Like I said, there's always room to improve and always pl ways to grow. I don't feel like I'm stuck at one thing. Our employees are the reason for our growth. Everybody treats each other kind of like family around here. Some days we get off work and some of the guys go hang out together for maybe three or four hours of an evening. I thought maybe you know, 20 years we'd be you know, 
maybe 45, 50 employees. Stay under 50 so it doesn't get complicated and crazy. Sam pushes that a little bit. Tyler's a little more conservative, a little more uh, calculated and laid back, and Sam is bring it on. They're just like anybody else, man. They are. They they treat you just like you would treat anybody in the in the facility. They are good people. When we can get them out of their office and come down, they joke around. You know, they'll take away our production for a little bit, uh, just to you know shoot the shit with us. I'm all go go go, and my brothers whoa whoa whoa. Both have their advantages, disadvantages, and they work really well together. He's kind of the brains, and I'm the bullshitter, I guess you could say. <laughs> I know if we buy a machine, Sam's going to go out there and sell it, so I'm not... That makes me less nervous. So I'll bring the business in, and he'll 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 straighten it out. The challenge is fun, obviously. Uh, seeing it grow is kind of addicting to a point as well, too. You see all the families, too, and it's like you kind of want to keep feeding them, you know, and keep growing that side of it, too. So, I don't know, once you get into it, it's hard to let go. It's... Crazy to think about sometimes how many, uh, you know, lives or plates you're putting on the table for people. Um, makes you just want to push harder, I guess. Keep the train rolling. To watch your children take something and watch it grow and see the interaction with them and the people that work with them and for them, that's a pretty proud moment for me. I think everybody kind of wonders what's next. That's what we want to do. We still have fun. We still enjoy it. As long as the rewards keep coming and stuff like that, I don't see why we wouldn't keep pushing the trigger. I've got some way out of seeing Nelson. Yeah, greatness. I think it's going to be great. You know, I never thought we would be to where we are today. We just want to do what's what's right for our community and our people. And then, you know, what whatever we're blessed with after that, we're, we're thankful for. Yeah.